energy's back, refreshed. No more corona. <laughs> <laughs> no more corona. Yeah. Actually, it's gotten a little bit, I mean, it's gotten worse because things are happening every day, of course, but it's interesting. Uh, Germany, United States are now in top five for the most cases. So I don't know if you want to dive right into that right now. Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's dive into it right now then. Um, so I have some stats here, courtesy of Google, which they now have their own uh, map. So this is a confirmed cases of coronavirus. Um, so this shows all, all the map, the whole map of the world, and it has all the cases. So currently there's about 308,000 total cases, confirmed cases. Uh, right now in the top five, you have China, Italy, United States, Span Spain, and Germany. Germany is on the top five. Um, mm -hmm. U.S. has about 27,000 plus cases. Yeah. Germany, Germany has 22,000 plus cases, um, which is interesting. They have more than, than Iran and France and South Korea, which is interesting. But um, I think I think the states is going to get hit hard in the next weeks. Yeah. yeah. Right now, as you see here with Italy, they have about almost 5,000 deaths, more than China, which is interesting. But currently, the United States has about 340 deaths, it says here. But like you said, it could definitely rise to, you know, to higher heights than this for sure. Yeah, Germany only has 84. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, this is... And what's cool about this is they show all the different countries that throughout the world, even countries that aren't as talked about as much. Like, oh, yeah? Like right here, they have even Bosnia. Hold on, it's somewhere here, down here, all the way down. Yeah, Bosnia has only, for example, one death, right? Two recovered, 27 cases per 1 million. 94 confirmed Sakia. cases. Rakia. <laughs> Rakia saves a day. Yeah, it's interesting, though. Um, all these countries that they have listed here. We can probably get yeah, into they that. probably can't even test people. Yeah, we'll probably get into that later, talk about countries that aren't listed. But for now, interesting, though, right? That Germany, U.S. top five. Yeah, Germany right now is, is getting more and more, but they're, like, trying to get it on a lockdown slash you know, limit the number of transmissions from people to people by keeping them at home, right? Right, right. And what I think is going to be interesting is the UK, because mm. they just, like, closed the schools, I think, on Friday, last Friday. Okay. And the states also is, like, now just starting to do, like, shut down, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone. Stay at home. Don't go outside if you don't have to. You know. Yeah, I I definitely pull up the speech that we had uh, from one of our governor, Governor Prisker in Illinois, talking about. Oh yeah, that was funny. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll share that in a second. Um, before before I get into that, I want to sh show the highlight from Germany real quick, what they're saying. Yeah. That's going on. So right here they're saying, um, Germany tears up, fiscal rule, rule book to counter coronavirus pandemic. So Germany is to take on more than 150 billion euros of new debt as part of a sweeping package of emergency measures to save its economy, which is, that's pretty crazy, to create a $500 billion bailout fund to rescue companies hit by the outbreak, according to three people familiar with the plans. F Finance Minister yeah. Olaf Scholz. Yeah, man. A lot of money is being poured in, just like how here in the States. Yeah, it's, it's crazy what's going on. Yeah, they have to. Like, everyone that I know is doing this thing called, like, Kurzarbeit. It's, like, short-term. word of the day. Short-term work, yeah. What, what was that again? <laughs> Kurzarbeit, yeah. Kurzarbeit, okay. It means, like, short-term work. Like, yeah. they reduce your hours. They, you know, don't you don't go probably to work anymore. You work from home, stuff yeah. like that. And uh, to do that, they have to get the money, like half the money or more than half from the state. The state's going to pay that. And then the businesses decide like, okay, do we want to pay the rest or do we want to just, you know, leave it at that amount? Right, right. Yes, yeah, the same thing that's going on here. Like they call it um, 
for those who are not non-essential workers, you know, like so retailers or people that work in like whatever superstores versus those that work at grocery stores or medical facilities, like those are considered essential workers, right? Banks and stuff like that. So they're prioritizing the same way too. It's going to happen everywhere. It feels yeah. like. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. And it's just crazy because it's, you know, happening so quickly and a lot of businesses will probably get shut down because they can't even, you know, work anymore Yeah, because of the people or the, you know, when people have children and they have to work somewhere and there's no more kindergarten or whatever, you know, then the people are going to be like, yeah, I have to stay at home. I can't, you know, come to work anymore. Exactly. Has there ever been, has there been any cases around where you live that you know of that they said in the news or people have told you or, or any news like that? Yeah, I mean, here there's like a bank and most employees there are having children and they can't go to work anymore because their children are staying at home. So yeah. they have to close the bank there, you know? Right, right. But has there been any cases of like any corona cases over there where you stay or no that you heard of or? Um, I think so. Maybe like one or two. Oh wow! But I'm not sure. But um, definitely around us, yeah, probably. Interesting. Yeah, gotta be careful, man. You're watching Easy and Ibra TV.